singer. No, no. It's not okay. Paul, go for it. Uh, okay, since I'm already hot about something, there was a guy who sang the national anthem. AM graduate. AM graduate at the Women's College World Series. In doing so at the end of it, because Texas was playing in it, he threw a horns down. That's the horns down, in case you don't know what it is. Oh, dear God. Right our there. Most viral right segment. There. That's a horns down. Uh, that is apparently, according to the NCAA, an offensive gesture because he's been disinvited from coming to Omaha to sing the national anthem as well because it's a participating team and it's an obs- offensive gesture. So the I'm not sure. The from the NCAA, from College World Series, Inc., contacted him saying, we have documented proof that he made offensive gestures and mockery of a participating team and we do not feel comfortable allowing him to perform. Um. I, they've just got to get past this horns down thing. It's embarrassing for them. And I, I think would, most, and I could, if, if you're a Texas fan, do you really, I, I know some of you get lit up. Over we it. don't get, care, but, but yet it's a thing every but, single time it comes up. Somebody cares. Is it enough to disqualify somebody from singing at the no, college baseball no, world series stupid. because he put the horns down sign? What if somebody put them up and, Okay, I've, it's 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 beyond. It's like taking on a life of its own. I really don't know how you feel, so you let us know. But it, it just seems to be a little bit, a little bit nitpicky. But again, we've seen this before. It's a penalty in a Big Twelve football game. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. And I, I've just never gotten that. Paul, tell the Sebastian Janikowski score if you can in a oh. rapid fashion. Yeah. Uh, when I was a sophomore at Florida State, Florida State won the national title, and Sebastian Janikowski kicked a very crucial 48-yard field goal, but there was a delay of game, and it was so loud that you know you couldn't hear the whistles because the swamp is one of the most ridiculously loud and raucous environments in college football. It's a great place to go watch a game. Uh, and so they moved it back five yards, and then he booted another one through, and it looked even better. He took three large steps, maybe four, towards Steve Spurrier and chomped chomp chomped in his face and nothing happened you know what it was like ah well you got me that was it that was the end of it there was no uh only people in blue and orange can do the gator jump i mean it just how it was yeah and there's been here's a texas fan by the way he says man i i I love it when somebody gives the horn it's like chris nelson is a ut fan hook him uh, is from chris we appreciate that uh uh, dongby by the way go Knowles, among some others Greg, you had something else to add to that? Yeah, the first, first of all, the the reactions to the horns down thing. I mean, I'm with, like, this is the dumbest thing. Like, why why this has become like such a polarizing deal? This one particular symbol for this one school, I I, I don't get why it's become such so sensitive. Like, it's the dumbest thing to be since it's a freaking hand sign that's not personally insulting. It's not racial. It's not like condemning any. Human, it's just a freaking sports hand sign. Like that's all it is. And you and there's people out there that want to make this out to be like some massive, like flaw in in human beings. Or like this is the dumbest story. The dumbest story. Now, as far as uh, the sports 